you trying to tell me that you're going to have an open mind to your daughter or your son Absolutely. coming to tell you that mom I don't identify as a girl anymore I identify as a man Absolutely yes the love that I would feel for my child would be unconditional it doesn't matter what the child's sexuality is it doesn't matter what the child's gender is if my child is a lesbian fine if my child is gay fine I think it's completely irrelevant what you choose to identify as the most important thing is are you a good person are you an upstanding reasonable morally right member of the society Welcome guys to today's episode of Doing's Corner. Actually, today's episode is a special episode because today I'm not going to be the host. I'm actually going to be the guest. And I promise you guys, I have no idea what questions are going to be asked, but we're going to be doing like a um, fire rapid question type of thing. So sit tight and we're going to have an amazing episode. I promise you. Okay. So this is going to be the host of today, actually. Her name is Nancy, and she's going to be asking me all these questions. So fingers crossed. All right, fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. So um, Doyin's Connor has had an amazing, like, six episodes so far. Like, I've had, like, really controversial people on this show. All right. And me being an audience, I've always wanted to ask questions to Doyin. And today, I've given, be given the privilege to do so, to ask her questions. And we're also going to be talking about very important and triggering conversations here in Nigeria. And I really want to know where doing stands. So today on the show, we're literally going to get a clear stand or where doing literally stands. There's no sitting on the fence for today <laughs> at all. There's no gray lines. Is it that you are what, white or you are black? That's how it's going to be. Our viewers at you guys are going to help me on this episode. The phone lines are going to be up. Caleb, my guy, is going to put it up on the screen. And you guys can call in and ask doing questions on what you think that you feel she's you know she's being dodgy or she's just not seeing what it's supposed to be i'm always honest though they know me i'm always blunt you're very blunt always. okay so let's go to the first question that i have for you hmm. i've seen clips of you talking about abortion okay yes and i'm trying to relate it to things that we have seen so Literally, as a woman that gives birth to a child, mm -hmm. right? And you decided to keep that child. You are not married. Mm -hmm. You and your boyfriend were in love, Sha, one time, one time. The thing was strong, and you now decide to, like, instead of me taking out the baby, right? And I'll keep the, the child. Mm -hmm. And you find out that 10, 15 years down the line, the child comes. So let's imagine you are the mom. Mm -hmm. The child comes and says, Mom, I realize that I'm not a girl. I'm a cat. What will you do? <laughs> I identify as a cat. I identify <laughs> as a cat. Honestly, I'm a very yeah? open-minded person, to be honest. I know a lot of people might be surprised, but I think that if I have a child that comes to me and says, Mommy... I'm hoping it's not cats. I'm hoping it's maybe, okay, if I have a female child that says, I identify as a male, I don't want to be a girl. I think at first, you know, my first question would be, how long have you known this, right? And I would just try to be sure that this child is not just being influenced by maybe the common thing these days. But if that child is able to convince me that truly, you know, they have always felt this way and they would feel better being the male child or identifying as a male child, I'd accept the child. Okay, so Dori, Debbie, Debbie sorry. <clears throat> Let me rephrase this question. Yeah. And let's call it spade a spade. We live in Nigeria. Yes. 2024. Yes. You have your Nigerian roots very strong in you. Yeah. Your mom is very much alive. Yeah. Very much alive. Mm -hmm. And she's a very religious person. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to tell me that you're going to have an open mind to your daughter or your son Absolutely. coming to tell you that, mom, I don't identify as a girl anymore, I identify as a man? Absolutely, yes. I think people have always told me that I don't act very Nigerian. I don't know. But I just have a very open mind, like open mindset. And I just believe that, you know, yeah, as long as that child is old enough to be able to decide, oh, first to consent and to be able to decide, no, they are left from their right, no, they are right from wrong. And I'm sure that that child has a strong mind. They're not just being pressured into something. I'd accept the child. 
I think the love that I would feel for my child would be un unconditional. It doesn't matter what the child's sexuality is. It doesn't matter what the child's gender is. If my child is a lesbian, fine. If my child is gay, fine. If my child, anything. Don't you think that's I'm fundamentally going to love my child wrong? Regardless. No, I don't think it's wrong. Like literally, a born female with female organs and female genitals yeah. saying that, oh. I identify as a man, I want to be a man, or even liking a fellow woman. I think that's fundamentally wrong. Don't you think so? I don't think so. Because I really don't know. I, I'm not, I myself, I'm straight, and I don't have any, I'm not thinking, oh, I'm a, I'm a man, I want to identify as a man. So I don't really know how it feels, but I don't believe that this thing is a choice. I truly believe that it takes a lot of conviction within yourself to be able to come out and say, this is really who I am. I think that person would have battled with themselves in their head for so long before they come to the realization that, well, I'm just going to have to accept it. And the worst thing you want to do to your child is to make your child feel like they're not accepted at home. Home should be where love is. Home should be where unconditional love should exist. So, so I agree with you on home, right? Home is where the love is. But as a strong Nigerian parent, don't you think that that is not longer a physical situation, but more of a spiritual situation. No, I do not. That's the thing. I feel like Nigerians, so no, no, we are no, too, no, we no, make no, everything. It's not why we're Let's analyze this. Look at this as a, with your natural eye. <laughs> what is the natural explanation, right, of a man liking a man, a woman liking a woman, or a woman say she's no longer a woman, she's now a man, and a man say he's no longer a man and he's now a woman? Do you know what I think? I think it's completely irrelevant. It doesn't matter who you like, what you choose to identify as, what you do with your life. The most important thing is, are you a good person? Are you an upstanding, reasonable, morally right member of the society? Are you contributing something to the society? Are you bringing value to yourself? I don't care about what your sexuality is. I don't care about who you choose to date or what you choose to identify as. Are you a good human being? That's all I care about. Okay, so do you know that there's going to be a ripple effect? In what, if, in what sense? If we all are open to, oh, it's fine if my daughter or my son or my cousin comes and says, I no longer identify as a man, I identify as a woman. Don't you think in the nearest future, you have situations where we'll probably not be having a lot of reproduction? So the thing is, I'm not asking everybody to agree with me. I feel like this type of situation, um, this homosexuality or gender, I don't know what they call it, there's a name they call it. I don't think it's something that everybody would agree on, right? This is just my own personal opinion. I'm saying for me and my little family, I hope I well, get your married. Family to, would spare us. Well, yeah, but I'm not going to be cause of the society. Then you know, let my child live an unhappy life or an unfulfilled life because the society says this is the right thing. No, my child's feelings matter most to me. My child's happiness matter most to me. So I hope I marry a husband that also has that mindset. Hmm. 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 Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wow. Lagos, Nigerians, you've heard it. That is Doing's opinion on that conversation. May I beg to differ, shall <laughs> And you know what they always say? It is once you wear the shoes that you know exactly how well, to the pain. Right? True. So I will not probe for that. She has said what she wants to say. We'll move on to our second conversation, which I am going to relate it to. Let's talk about rape. Mm which will lead to my abortion conversation, right? You know when I'm of the opinion that rape is absolutely wrong. Right. It's wrong. No man should forcefully, no man, no woman should force sure. themselves on somebody without consent. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. Like literally, somebody saying no to you should be a turn off. Yeah, straight no is off. no. No is no. No, don't you please. No, it's not. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> she means yes. Right. No, it's no. In a situation where men have already, I have guys in the studio they say this, a woman leads you on. Mm. As she gets to the point where she's supposed to do the do, as she pulls back. Mm. At that point in time, what is the repercussion for the woman? I don't think there should be any repercussion for that. Why? Because at the end of the day, it's her body and she has the right to change her mind at any point. Even if they're about, they're at the point where the man is already hard and they're about to insert and she decides at that point that she doesn't want to. I think she has the right to, even if she's married to the man. 
Don't you think that's totally unfair? I don't think so. I mean, I mean, we all have our sensitivities about different things. Of course, the man is going to feel some type of way, but there are other ways for him to release than for him to go ahead and forcefully have that intercourse with the woman. No. No, so I, I don't want him to forcefully have, but what is the repercussion for the woman that leads this guy on? There shouldn't be a re repercussion. It might not even be that she led him on. It might be that she wanted it, but at some point, last minute, she changed her mind. She has the right to, even if she's married to him. She mm. has the right to, yeah. Okay, so what so you I mean, think... even if she's married to him, but yeah. I believe that when you, people are married, your body is no longer your body. Your body belongs to your spouse. Oh, wow. <laughs> I do not agree with that statement. I think that when you're married... To become one. Yeah, to become one, yes. I agree that when you're married, you know, your, your spouse should have a certain level of access, of course, to your body because you're married. But you should still have the right to say no. Do you know that there's something called marital rape? Hmm. Yes, there is. Where people that are legally married, you know, a man would think, oh, because I'm married to you, I can have sex with you, even when you don't want to have sex. But that's marital rape. It's just that in Nigeria, we don't take those type of things seriously. But outside Nigeria, it's a whole crime. Yes. Please explain how it is a crime when a husband sleeps with his wife. If the wife is not in the mood for it, if the wife is not ready for it. There's so many men that rape their wives. So many. Okay, imagine a situation where husband and wife have just had a fight and the woman is like you know i'm not in the mood to have sex you know i just and the man beats her and says oh i'm your i'm your lord i'm your king or whatever however they put it right and you know i have to sleep with you and then it first okay so in that her. situation where you're saying beating and even if it's, you know what i don't want us to describe rape as beating sometimes rape can be very subtle it can How it might not even subtle? be forced not if a woman um okay for example if somebody is drugged is that forced so that one, they've already left. She has been induced, so she's helpless. Totally yeah. agree with that one. Sometimes, even... I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think of another example that can also give you light on what I'm talking about, that not every rape situation is forced. Sometimes people are cajoled into... The woman has said, no, 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 I don't want to do it. No. But the man keeps begging and begging and begging. And the woman is like, at this point, I don't have a choice. Okay, just do it. But you can see on her face that she's not interested. But she has a choice. But sometimes maybe she's afraid for her safety. Maybe she's, she's like, ah, if I say no, I don't know what's going to happen. There, there are times that people coerce people into having sex and they don't want to. That, to me, is still rape. Hmm. Yes. So, so honestly, I really don't believe that somebody can coerce into having sex. At the end of the ah, day, you're giving, yes. I don't really? Believe so. oh. I believe that you can be coerced to do other things, but is he coerced to do, have sex? If you, if, imagine this. You go visit a guy in his house. You know, this is not your house. This is his house, right? And... Anything can happen. You're in this so environment. So the question is, you have to know. I didn't say I used to say to ladies, if you're going to visit a guy in his house, <laughs> whatever you see, you take. I don't agree with that. No. Do, I don't do, agree with that. What, so, I don't okay, agree with do that. Excuse guy can me, be sorry. your friend. If you go to Lions, then what do you expect? Are, we, are men Lions? No. They're Just no, 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 no. If you go to a Lions, then what do you expect? I, that, that example is not valid. Because if you go to a snake pit, the, what do you the, expect? The difference between a human being and an animal is the will, is the, is the brain, is the advanced reasoning to be able to say, I shouldn't do this and I should, this is right, this is wrong. Animals don't really have that instinct, but human beings have that. So if you want to identify as a lion or a bear or a snake, <laughs> then that's on you. But you're a human being, so you should have that advanced. That's why you're not an ape. That's why you're homo sapien, like you're, you're advanced. So you should be able to know, oh, okay, no. This is wrong. But this do is it, right. What is a girl, right, a woman going to do in a guy's house to that wait, wait, that she has feelings for? I'm not saying just oh, uh, agape feelings that my friend, my friend, she has sexual feelings. What do, does she think that they are going to go and talk about Donald do you, Trump do or, you have or politician? With, do you have sex with everybody that you have feelings for? I don't. But do it. yes, I get that. Especially when you are in an open space. But when you carry your two legs at this bench, they go the guy out. You can visit somebody. People, people, companionship. People go visit. I don't know. So, so visiting a guy in his house means automatic sex. I don't agree with that at all. At all. And I hope I can raise my sons better to understand that the fact that a girl has agreed to come to your house does not mean she has agreed to sex. Does not mean she has agreed to you fondling with her body. She agreed to come to your house and that's where it stops. So now when you get there and she agrees to sex, then... Good for you. And if she doesn't, you so don't have wait, any wait, right why to Why she come to your house for companionship? To watch Netflix. She can actually... Yes. So, so Netflix, you know that you are talking about that the power The actual thing. Netflix you know that power thing we're want. talking about. Yeah. It's better she is inviting him to her house to watch Netflix because it's the house. In case the guy wants to prove 
Stupid. Even in a house, you no, can't no, no. do anything. So that's the thing. Because I feel like in your house, that's your, what they call this thing, that's home ground. That's home ground. Especially for somebody you are, I don't want to use the word, especially for somebody that you don't trust. But you can't say that. But mm. in your home ground, as a lady, if you're inviting a guy over, you have what they call home advantage. I, I agree. Hello? Yeah, have let's go. Hi, hello. Hello. Good, uh, good evening. Hello. Good evening, we can hear you. Good evening, my name is Sanusi from Kasina. Okay, Sanusi. Hello? What's your question? We can hear you, go ahead. My question is uh, concerning a lady that went to go and see her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And you say that they will not do anything. I don't understand. I don't know. What, 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 what was her aim of going to see her, her boyfriend? So, um, Sanusi, so every time your girlfriend comes to see you like this, the aim is just to have sex. So your girlfriend cannot just be like, you know what, I miss you, I just want to hang out. But if you want to go and see your boyfriend, and you, you make an attempt, so there are some ladies that, if they want, if they want to go and see their boyfriend, maybe they have to make an attempt to sleep with them. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not doing that, something like that, sir. Yes, and she's well within her right to do that. What, what, about if, what about if the boyfriend is in is he, is he mood that time to have sex? Then he can, he can go, he can, there, there are other ways for him to ease himself up. He can get baby oil and just do his thing. But the way he wants, he wants to relieve himself in her. Sorry, he doesn't have the right to decide that he wants to release, relieve himself in her. If she doesn't want it, she has the right to say no. Because, because there are some guys now that would, would, would have planned their day. Maybe they take you know, can't, can't do dinner. How can, how can, you, how can you plan? <laughs> can't do dinner. You how know, that things are chill. <laughs> how can you plan somebody else's body? You know other things now. So once, 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 the, once, once the girl comes and the girl don't want them to have anything to do together, the guy will feel so... I don't know, Shana. feel so pain. He can feel bad. He can do that. He, he always wanted to go out anyways. He doesn't have, he doesn't have self-control. Because she said no one time. There are other means. She can, he can use baby oil and take care of himself. Yes, and take care of himself. <laughs> He's not doing it. <laughs> okay, then. You compromise, like probably you just let him to have one mouth. Hmm. Then just, you know. Which mouth are you going to say? You see, so you want to let him just have one mouth? Which oh my mouth? <laughs> so, you see, we've heard you. Thank you. <laughs> so, see, doing this is the, this is the conversation. I'm see, uh, rape is a no no, yes, it's a do not, but I'm also for. The opinion of please do not give a guy green light. So you know when they say don't tempt a brother. If no, you know definitely. you are not going to go all the way, don't tempt a brother. I agree. I agree. You know, he's a human being too. But that brother should have enough self-control that even after being tempted, he's able to say no. He's able to say, okay, she has said no, I'll be fine. But the brother is not. You shouldn't Jesus be so. Today. Well, you don't need to be Jesus to have self-control. That's a normal, basic human, decent human trait that everybody should have. Mm. Self-control. Self -control. Yes. You don't need to be Jesus Christ to have that. We've set the bar too low. It's just self-control. Everybody should have that. No, I get you. Everybody should definitely have self-control. But yes. sister, don't push the buttons. Well, yes, sister, <laughs> don't push the buttons. Yes. But if she says no, no is no. Sorry. Deal with it. Deal with it. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, guys. Um, still having more of these raw conversations on the show, right? Doing right. Mm -hmm. We go on a short break. Okay. When we come back, I am still definitely going to ask questions that I feel like I really want doing to look at it with a natural eye. You say natural. A Nigerian <laughs> eye, literally. I'll try my best. Okay. So we'll see you guys after this short break. Welcome back, guys. We're still on today's special episode and we're still doing fire, rapid fire questions with Doing David. So back to you, Nancy. Ah, Doing, thank you so much. Uh, okay, so let's move to more interesting conversations, right? And uh, let's relate it to everything that is happening right here in Nigeria, even outside right. Nigeria. So let's talk about, first of all, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. Who mm. do you think, if you're an American citizen, who would you have voted for? I would have voted for Kamala Harris, of course. But I've heard a lot about Donald Trump. I don't really follow that thing, to be honest, because I don't live so in America. So why, wait, wait, why would you have voted for Kamala just Harris? Just because she's a woman. 
And and I see a lot of like Donald Trump videos on social media. I just don't think he's the he's not my candidate of an ideal president. Okay. Yeah, so I, would have so I love her. the fact I feel that like she's also more qual- more qualified. Okay. So I love the fact that you started off with saying the first thing that would draw you to voting for Kamala Harris is because she's a woman. Yeah. So I'm of the opinion that that's actually a wrong. Not just thing. a woman. I also said she's qualified. If she was a woman that I felt was not qualified, then that's different. But I've heard her speak. I I told you I don't really know that much about yeah. her, but I've watched some seminars where she's spoken at and. I just feel like she she sounds like somebody that knows what she's doing. And I also like the fact that she's very liberal on certain things. And I feel like she's she's a human being. She has humanity. She's not all about, oh, you know what? Let's castigate black people. Let's castigate gay people. She's quite liberal and open to people. And maybe that's that's how I am. So maybe that's why I just, that's why I like her. Okay, so the reason why I asked this is because I feel like uh, modern day women, right? Sometimes because of the fact that we have believed, permit me to say this, we have believed the lies so much that um, men get more opportunities than women. That mm-hmm. every time we see a woman in power, we want to definitely just go and vote. I'm of the opinion that if I see a woman in power, I'm not going to vote you because you're a woman. Mm-hmm. I need to know that you are capable of doing the job, right? right? Because this will lead me to my next conversation because for a woman in a powerful position, right, you are supposed to do times two what the man is supposed to do. Times two, why? What? Because the society you live in. The society you live in demands more because naturally, naturally, she's not supposed to be in a seat of power. Natural doing. Natural, naturally. Why? She's a woman. Let's go back to how we were born. No, I don't agree. Doing relax says first. That that's doing how relax. I don't. Uh, this statement relax. sounds should so wrong. I tell you, should I tell you why? Naturally, you're supposed to mean because a woman was born into rest. She's not supposed to lift her hands to do anything. Says who? Staking points. Go back to Adam and Eve. Okay. She was born when everything had been created. Same there as was Adam. Fruits. Adam wasn't born before the world was. God did not born. God did not create Adam first. And so yeah, created. But he had work to do. Guess what his work was? Take charge of the garden. And when the woman came in, there was nothing given to her. They brought us a helper. Hmm. So that's naturally do you to the way. That's naturally. I don't agree. I feel like as a woman, if you're going to be, it's like a ma- for example. Male hairstylists, don't you expect them to wow you than female hairstylists? No. Because naturally, a female hairstylist, you freaking know how to make her hair. I don't know. Actually, I don't agree with that. I just, for me, when I look at who is best for a position, I don't look at your gender. I look at who is more qualified. That's the only thing that should matter. Whether you're a man or you're a woman or you're a hermaphrodite, it doesn't matter. Who is qualified for the job? Who would do the job best? That should be what we should use to choose who we're giving that power to. Not man or woman. It's, that's, that's not really bad. Okay, so I would link you to another reason why I say in society, more is literally sometimes expected for the woman. Let's take an example, this Equatorial Guinea guy okay. that the sex tape came out. In that situation, who do you think that sex tape conversation is going to damage more? Him or the women that appeared in it? Actually, I think it has damaged him more. I haven't heard so much about the women I've heard more about him. I think he's more disgraced, more embarrassed than the women. Do I think that it's going to affect the women? Absolutely, because they have families. I, I heard, I don't really know that much about it, to be honest, but I heard that So all the women married. he married, all the women he slept with are all married. They're and all they are married, married yes, to yeah, of course. influential people. Of course, it would destroy their homes. But who is more, who are we hearing about more on social media? Who is more embarrassed? Who has been arrested? Do you, do you, do you realize that women? this guy, they are not dragging him, they are praising him? They are praising him. No, I yes. haven't seen that. Ah, uh, they I've are praising them, this guy. I've seen them dragging him. But you know what I don't understand about that guy's story? So maybe because I don't really know that much about the whole thing, I don't know why he's being arrested. Why he's being prosecuted. So yeah, yeah. So that one doesn't make it. sense to He had us. consensual sex with consenting adults. Yes, he made a tape. They consented to it. They all had sex. He didn't force them. He didn't rape them. So now he said, except that man was selling those tapes without those women's consent, then yes, he should be arrested. But if all he did was just have sex, all I'm seeing is a man with a bad habit. That's all I'm just seeing. A man that doesn't have self-control has a bad habit. I don't see why he so should be arrested do we, for that. So honestly, do you feel like in the next three, four years, mm-hmm. right, that this man, after his sex tape is out there, if he decides to run for an office, do you think that he can still run compared to those women? There's a reason I'm saying because 
I believe that the images of these women is more tarnished than his. Yes. No, I don't. They think can't so. recover from it. No, I don't think so. I think his image. Do you look is at more this? Tarnished. No, no. Look at this. I think his image is more tarnished. I think. See, anybody can wake up and decide to run. Is he going to win? No. He's going to be disgraced. Nobody's going to vote for him. I wouldn't even vote for him because if you if you're not disciplined enough to keep your house in order and keep your habits together, and what? so have, this is the I'm truth not going is, to let you lead the country. You know, the people you're talking about are not the Americans. You're talking about Africans. We forget things. I think, well, everybody has the right to vote for whatever candidate they want to, but that would be very strange if you go there and you go vote for somebody that can that doesn't even have enough self control to keep himself in check. And you want to give the country? Look at where we are now in this country. So now you want to give the country to somebody that's. But we've had we, weird. we've had some things that have occurred that does that there are people I still in power shot. But let's not go. Let's not go there. Let's yeah. not go there. But who, like I said, look at track records of people who have released sex tape. Which one does the internet remember the most? I, I don't they feel remember the women. Of Thank course, you. Most. Yes, in general, they remember they remember the women, and of course, yes, I feel like in that kind of if a sex tape leaks. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. This is Shay calling from Maja. Hi, Shay. So I wanted to ask a question. Okay. Uh, I don't know, maybe you can answer my question. So, something like an example, I had an idea. And they are saying, uh, the guy raped the girl, the guy raped the girl. So the question is, uh, they, they say uh, they, they did their self before, mm. uh, mm -hmm. and uh, something like the TMC happened between both of them. They have sex in between each other. And they said, after the sex, they're going to shout, ah, ah, he raped me, he raped me, he raped me. Mm. So when police came, the guy was trying to explain to them that, uh-uh, but you were money, you were money. <laughs> he said, I rape you. <laughs> so now, after the decision, I got out there, I rape Please, is that a rape? Or I mean, is something that they enjoy between both of them? Okay, so the thing is, we would never know because we don't have the full story of what happened in the bedroom. But it's possible that she was actually raped. It's possible that she said no, and he maybe forced her, or he said, okay, if you don't have, maybe you tripped her into doing it. It's possible, but because we were not in the bedroom, we can't really answer that question. When you don't have full information about everything, you can't answer the question. So, so my only concern know. is, I feel like women have cried woof a whole lot of times. That nowadays, if a woman says a man has raped her, before anything is done, there has to be a proper investigation. And the fact that we have rape kits, please go and check that thing. Because a lot of women have cried, this man raped me and this guy did not do it. But for me, yes, I agree. I agree. But I would rather believe the woman first and find out that she lied. Then I will go actually and punish not. her. I will not believe. not believe her. And then the rapist goes, goes caught free. So that's the thing. I will not yeah. believe any would... story until facts are proven. Because once beaten twice shy. True. True. No, I definitely think that women that lie and say, oh, this man raped me and he didn't. I think that there should be some form of like consequence for that. There should be like penalty for that, of course. Go to jail. Yes, I agree with that because that's have a, a very... Call. Oh, hello. Go on. Okay. That's a very... We were talking about another thing. And they definitely me. brought us back. So yeah, we're talking about the rape. Okay, um, yes, we're talking about I'm sorry, sex tapes, tapes okay, and so how it affects... Of course, I feel like it affects the woman more because... As a woman, you're supposed to be sacred, modest, kept, private. You're supposed to be like that as a man too. But I think the society has allowed men to like just, it's, it's, it's like it's okay for men to just be, just going around the place doing whatever they want. But yes, being a woman, I think being a woman, you should be more reserved, more conservative, more. So of course, yes, a sex tape would affect a woman's image more than it would affect. I think even for men self in this Nigeria, they even praise the man say, ah, that's my point. That kind of thing. But, I think that man should still be ashamed of himself too. Even if they're praising him. Even if they, they praise you, say, ah, you don't do it. You say, somewhere in your brain supposed to say, ah, my sex tape shouldn't be out there. As a man or a woman, your sex tape shouldn't be out there. That's a private, that's an intimate session. It's not for the world. If you want to show it to the world, then become a porn star. Mm. Yeah, make money from it. But if you're going to do it for free and then just show it to the world, I just feel like that's indecent, man or woman. Hello. Hi, good evening. 
We can ah. barely hear Koi you. Koisola, we can barely hear you. Call us it's, back. Oh, Koisola has just, has definitely <laughs> left the building. Yeah. So I love the fact that we're talking about it, which we already know. Once a man cheats, right, is like he cheated. But yeah. once a woman cheats, it's like let's condemn her. Literally. Yeah. Let's go. I don't there. think it should be like that. I don't think. I think you're talking about cheating now, not sex tape. Cheating. Cheating. Because the sex tape thing still falls. It's the same thing as a man's sex tape is released and they praise him, and a woman's sex tape is released and there's a wala. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Hi. We can hear you speak. Okay. So, uh, no, uh, oh. We can't. We're we so can't. sorry. We can't hear you. Can you call? Um, you can end the call and call us back. Please do. Okay. So speaking about cheating, my opinion on cheating is this: cheating, to me, I don't think is worse for a woman or a man. I think cheating is about self-respect. How much respect you have for yourself. The amount of people you give your body to says a lot about how you even value your body. So even as a man, I think that you should have some level of respect and decorum for your, for your body that you're not just opening it up to every Tom, Dick and Harry. Do you understand? Just because you're not a woman. So I don't think, I think the society has made it okay for men to cheat. I don't think it's right. I don't mm -hmm. think it's right. Man or woman. I don't think I it's think worse it's... for anybody, to be honest. Totally fair. Totally. Yeah. I agree with you on that. So... Our last conversation is going to be more related to your lifestyle. Okay. And I have a very big problem with some certain people that live your lifestyle. My lifestyle? What yeah, life so the question I just want to ask is, why is there a need for influencers and celebrities to lie, lie. about how they get their money? We know you probably have one allergy mm. that is bankrolling you. And you're saying... Oh God, thank God. I've been a working hard girl. Mm. I have this business. I have that business. Hello. We know the business. One plus two <laughs> is not equal to two. So mm. as a celebrity, maybe you will give us the insight to why the need to lie and fake. I know they say fake it till you make it, but right. there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a limit to the fakery. That's the word, the fakery for me. Why is there the need for people to just fake? Okay. be fake my answer is very simple because it's nobody's business what you're doing behind the scene so my job is to come on social media and convince you to buy a product your business you have no business with my personal life if i make money from social media but behind the scene i have a man that i'm dating that decides to take care of me why should i why do you even think that you have the right to ask me what i am doing to make my money. And if but you, you put your life me, out there. So well, that's why people yeah, need to ask. So I put my life, you don't need to ask. I put my, the things, my business life out there. The products, I'm, ask me about the products I'm selling. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not on social media selling myself or selling my personal life. Do you understand? So when you ask me questions that are not your business, then I'll tell you the answer that is not your business. And if the answer is a lie, then that's it. I don't think that anybody, I see that thing a lot. Oh, stop misleading young people. You people are making money. <sighs> A, a, a young girl can be making money from social media, you know, doing that, influencing, whatever, you know, making money from brands. It's not a bad thing if you also have a, I'm not saying, I don't want married men, of course, no married men, because I would never like be in support of a young girl dating Side a chicks. Man. No, but if he's a single man, you people are dating, he's taking care of you. Why no, is no, it so a I don't think thing? It's not a bad thing, but yeah. I, so it's not a bad thing. It it's just the fact. She's not independent. No, no, no. Though. So it just feels the fact that they come online and they paint it like, I'm working from I, docks to John is and I'm getting my bag. Because she is working. Yes, yeah, she is working. I, let me give you an example. I'm working very hard, right? And I have brands that pay me everything, but it doesn't mean that I cannot have a boyfriend that still says, babe, let's go on this trip. And it doesn't make me less of an independent woman because I'm still making my money. I still cover my bills with what I, what I like, do, my own work. But it doesn't mean I cannot have handouts or I cannot have help for me. And that does not make me, that does not mean I'm, I'm living a fake lifestyle or, oh, I'm just a sugar baby and it's just a cover up. An independent woman can still have help. What makes you not independent is if all of your income in general is from a man. That's where the problem is. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with having a man that takes care of you while you also make your money. 
Yeah, I, I hope. And I, I'm already a very relaxed woman. And I hope to continue to be a relaxed woman, well taken care of. While I walk, I want my partner to still take care of me, spend money on me, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay, so that, I love the fact that we're, 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 we're going to where this question was actually supposed to be going to. So now you have said you're making your money. Yes. You have said the lady is making her money, yes. not you in general. Mm -hmm. The lady is making her money. And she has a guy, single, hardworking, mm -hmm. has money, making mm -hmm. his money. If they finally do get married, mm -hmm. Is his money her money? No. Oh, when they're married. Yes. Is his money her money? <sighs> when you're married. I said when you're married <laughs> now, do you? When you're married, yes. I think as a man, you are obligated by law, by the church, by God to take care of your wife. Good. Yes. Absolutely agree with that. Now, the woman's money is for who? I think the woman obligation is to be a support system to the man ah! so the woman's money can be for the both of them if the man has a downtime if the man can if my husband says babe i can't cover rent this month or, or this year i beg i know you have some money can you help her by all means i will but would i be the breadwinner of my household hell no no i would never like call me a gold digger call me anything but i would never be the breadwinner but would i support my husband definitely Yes, but no, his money, my money is not his money, but my money can come in handy if the household needs it, if the family, because his kids are my kids. I'm not going to watch my kids not go to school because my husband cannot cover school fees for this year. That's just stupid. So I will come through, but my husband has to be ready and come into that marriage with the mindset of, I am the so number one provider, and this, my baby girl here, is going to support. But that I'll be the number one provider, never. <laughs> never, ever. So ladies and gentlemen, you have heard it from Dwayne's mouth. I did my possible best for her to be 100 with you guys at home. And thank you all for calling into the show. That was just my job on the show today, to get her to say, you know, sometimes as a host, you are just asking questions. And as they are answering you, you have replied them with 1,000 and 1 things. But because of you are the host, you keep your mouth and right. you just... Be. So today, that was the plan. And yeah, doing Even if I feel like there are some things that <laughs> you were still on the gray, but we will let them be. That's all. Okay. So it was nice having this chat with you. Yeah. So you guys, I mean... We have almost, we have not almost, we've come to the end of this episode. Yes. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sure that some of you would be quite surprised about my opinion. Um, I've heard it a lot that I'm very different from the typical Nigerian. I'm very proud of it. I don't mind. But yeah, my opinion and my opinions. And you don't have to agree with it, but you have to respect it. You don't have a choice, actually. <laughs> so yes, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, we'll see you same time next week on Doing Skana. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>